Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to come in today and share with you a tutorial showing you how to get your desktop audio, like music through iTunes or a video or whatever it is that you're playing on your desktop, the audio from your desktop through OBS on a MacBook Pro about a 2015 version. This took me forever to figure out and I'm hoping that this tutorial will save you some time because it literally took me months, months. <laughs> so if you have a MacBook Pro 2015, you're using OBS and you cannot figure out how to use your desktop audio to sound crystal clear for your viewers, this should help you. Okay, so a couple of things before we get started. Um, if you don't know me or my channel, welcome. Okay, my name is Kate, I'm a techie teacher. I used to teach third grade, but I don't teach third grade anymore. I'm taking my classroom online, as you can see. Um, I love technology, I love being creative with it, and I love figuring out how to do things like live streaming with OBS, figuring out sound settings, figuring out perfect like visuals and graphics and being creative with everything. So that's my jam. Um, about you, you guys, tell me below, what brought you to my channel? Did you find me because of my fitness classes? Are you a fitness professional wanting to live stream? Are you live streaming something else? Are you just into video production? What brought you here? What's your, what's your field and what do you need help with? Um, I did talk about today's topic already. We're gonna figure out how to get your desktop audio to OBS so that your viewers can hear crystal clear sound and it doesn't sound like crap because if you're teaching fitness, you know that the music matters. Um, and a few other resources before we get started, you guys, if you are using OBS and you want to join my Facebook group, this is just a group where you can ask questions. I'm not claiming to know all the answers, but I have been using OBS for a while. Um, I just got Streamlabs downloaded because now they've just released the Mac version as of last month. Um, but I haven't played around with that yet, but I'm excited to. So find this group on Facebook if you'd like to join it. Go ahead and answer the questions. I'll approve you to the group. If you found me because you found my workouts and you actually want to work out with me, then you can join this group. This is actually my fitness group where I post my class schedule and all the links to my classes and all that good stuff. So join that group as well. And then you guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please, please, thank you. Yes, it helps me so much. Um, and if you're wanting more OBS tutorials like this, like how to design, create, how to make a really cool YouTube channel around any topic that you want to teach people about, um, then I want to help teach you to teach people what you know. <laughs> I want to teach you what I know so you can teach people what you know. So you guys subscribe to my channel and also find me on Crowdcast. Crowdcast is a new newer live streaming platform that I found and it's really, really cool. So go find that as well. Okay, so you guys, back to the topic for today. Desktop audio, how do you get it on your, on your Mac to get to OBS? Um, here's what you need to do. Before you go any further in this video, you do need to have I show you audio capture downloaded and installed on your Mac. So I'm gonna put the card right up here in this corner, okay, for you. If you have not done that, then go do that right now and then come back to this tutorial right to this spot and then we can go forward. So you've downloaded I show you audio capture. It's a free third party application that's going to help you capture your desktop audio. Now if you stream on a lot on a PC, desktop audio to OBS is much simpler. It's actually just a setting within OBS. But if you are in OBS, you've already realized you there's not an easy way to get your desktop audio from a Mac. I don't know why. It's just annoying, okay? So you do need to have I show you audio capture and I'm going to show you how you have to set up a multi-output device in order to capture the audio so that you can hear it on your end as the host or the fitness instructor, actually I'm going to show you how I connect to my block rocker speaker and then how to get it to your people through the computer so that they can hear it super clear. Like, it's like they're listening to it on the radio. It sounds that good. All right. So here's what we need to do. Um, you need to go, I'm going to show you my desktop screen. It's going to look kind of, um, why or not Wi-Fi, uh, twilighty for a second here. Okay. So desktop. So what you need to do is you need to go up to this little uh, magnifying glass up here and you're gonna search MIDI and you're gonna find your audio MIDI setup. You're gonna select that. And now you're just gonna, you might have different options here, but that's okay. You are going to, right here for you guys, you're gonna be creating a multi-output device, okay? So remember, you've already downloaded I Show You Audio Capture. So go down here to the plus button and you're gonna create multi-output device. And now I show you audio capture after installed should show up here. So if it's not here, then you need to figure out what you've made a mistake in during the install. <laughs> 
okay? And then you're also gonna select your built-in output. You're gonna change drift correction so that you uncheck it from built-in and make sure it is checked on I Show You Audio Capture. Now basically what you're doing right here, you are telling your computer that if you choose this multi-output device in your sound settings, which I'll show you in just a moment, then your sound is gonna be going to two places. It's a multi-output device. It's gonna be going to I Show You Audio Capture, which is what we just installed, and that's what's gonna go to OBS. And it's also gonna go to your built-in output, which is basically your computer speaker. So you're gonna hear the sound coming out of your computer, and your people are gonna hear, hear your sound going through I Show You Audio Capture through OBS, okay? Also up here under Master Device, make sure that is built-in output. Okay, this is your multi-output device, it's done. You can close this now. Now you need to go into your sound settings and your system preferences and make sure your output tab is selected. By default, it usually chooses your built-in output, right? Which is your normal computer speakers. You want to change this though to the device that you just created. You want this to be multi-output device. Now when you're using OBS, um, we're also going to select it in there as well. But again, we're telling the computer to send the audio from our desktop from I Show You Audio Capture to OBS and to our computer speaker so that we can hear it. Okay, then we can close sound settings here. Now we're gonna go back into OBS, we're ready to Twilight Zone again. Okay, so I know it looks funky, you just gotta bear with me, okay? So I'm gonna use my pointer to help. What you're gonna do next, now you're gonna see two things happening here in my audio mix. You're gonna see my mic, yes, I'm talking. You can. And you're also gonna hear that song playing in the background. Now the song that you're hearing right now, that's not coming from um, my iTunes. That's actually just a, a media file that I put into OBS. So I'm just gonna shut this off for you so you don't hear the music anymore. And we're gonna add, we're gonna go to that plus button, and we're gonna add an audio input capture because we're gonna now get the desktop audio, okay? And we're gonna name this desktop audio so that we know that's what it is. Okay, click OK. And when you choose the device, now here's where you're going to choose I Show You Audio Capture. Okay, and click OK. Now, we see that we have a new audio mixer device here, an audio input, desktop audio, we named it, but there's no bars moving. Okay, you can't hear anything because there's no, there's no audio on my desktop right now. I don't have any music playing. I don't have any videos playing. I just have my, my, my mic and I'm talking, right? So watch what happens now though, if I play iTunes, okay? Put up iTunes. Slide that over so you guys can see. Okay, we're going to play a song here. Okay, now I want you to watch. I'm not going to play it yet. When I start playing it, you're going to see the bars moving right down here. Okay, under desktop audio. Here they go. Watch. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. Okay, so the music's starting, right? You can hear it, and you hear it crystal clear. It's crystal clear music for you. Now, I can hear the music too because we use that multi-output device. So right now the music is going to you and it's coming to me through my computer. Now what's really cool is once you have this set up, now I can adjust my mic and my music separately for my viewers. Okay, so if I if I feel like the music is too loud for you, I turn it down, 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 down. Can't hear it, right? Turn it up, 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 up. Nice and loud, super loud, super loud music. So I'm going to turn it down. Now, for sound settings, here's the thing, though. When you adjust the volume here, that does nothing for the volume on my end. Like, nothing changes. So you have to get really good at learning these colored bars, okay? Here's what I learned about the colored bars. Your mic should always be, like, right into the yellow when you're using your normal speaking voice. Maybe right, you know, green to yellow. And then... Right now, the music is about half my voice, so you should be able to hear me just very well over the music. Now, when I'm teaching a fitness class, I like the music loud, so I turn this little lever up, and I turn it up so that it's almost into the red, because then I start to use my loud teaching voice, and then you guys blast the music, and I can talk and still teach you the moves. Can I turn it back down? So, Really just keep the keep your eye on the colored bars and that's gonna help you know what you sound like to your people. 
because otherwise you have no idea. You have no idea until you watch the replay. So the other thing I want to quick show you guys is um, how do you, so right now I can hear the music from my computer, but it doesn't sound very good because it's not, you know, your computer speakers aren't that great. And as a fitness instructor, when I'm teaching, I want the music loud for me too. Like I want to be able to blast the music. So here's what you do. You are going to, I'm going to show you here. I have a block rocker speaker. It's a big tailgating speaker and a lot of fitness instructors have something similar. Or if you have any kind of, I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit here. If you have any kind of um, external speaker. Uh, mine has a, where is it? That little hole right there, that aux in, it's a spot for an aux in cable. So I just bought this, it was like $7 on Amazon. Plug one end into your headphone jack on your Mac, and the other end goes into your block rocker. That just got real loud. You guys can't hear it. I know you can't hear it because I have mic filter set. And um, sorry, I turned your music all the way down. <laughs> there we go. It's back up for you now. Uh, so now you guys are hearing the music. I'm hearing the music through my block rocker through this big giant speaker. And now it's super cool for me. I can turn this up, 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 up. It's getting really loud in here. I know you guys can't hear it. I can blast the music for myself through this while I'm teaching. And you're hearing the music based on those bars I just showed you. So remember, multi-output multi device gives you that ability. It gives you the ability to have the control of the block rocker so that you can hear it as the instructor and then the control of these bars right here for your people. How cool is that you guys? Okay. So I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to, yours is okay. I'm going to turn mine down because it's really loud. <laughs> um, okay. So you guys, I think that wraps it up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to show you um, with the sound, but let me just quick review those sound settings. Okay. I just want to review everything because I know we went fast. So remember, the first step was to download I Show You Audio Capture. The second step was to go to your audio MID setup and you set up that multi output device that looks like this. You had built in output selected up here. You chose I Show You Audio Capture, built in output, drift correction on the I Show You. That's your multi output device. That's done there. Then we went into sound under system preferences. And you want to make sure that in the sound settings, your output device on the output tab, you've selected that multi output device you just created. Your input can be your microphone. It is my microphone, my headset mic. Close that out. Then in OBS, here is where we then went to the plus sign and we created that source desktop audio. Remember, and then the settings of the desktop audio, we had I show you audio capture selected as the device. Clicked OK. Once we did that, now if we play that iTunes, which we're playing, you can see iTunes showing up over here. It's showing up right here. And then to get the sound going to a, out a second speaker, you use that aux cord from your headphone jack to a speaker. And then you have crystal clear sound going to you and to your viewers that you're both hearing the exact same thing. Guys, is that not cool or what? And remember, you watch these bars. You watch the bars to make sure you know if your voice is louder than the music or if your music is louder than your voice because these bars are telling you what your people are hearing. It's not what you're hearing. My, what you're hearing is totally separate. You've got to watch the bars. All right, you guys. I think that's it. I think we made it through. Oh my gosh. And I tried to get this like under 20 minutes. So I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Did you tell I was talking? Could you tell I was talking really loud and fast? Like going through, through, through all the content. Um, so you guys, I hope that's helpful. That seriously took me months to figure out. And it took me like so much trial and error. And so I hope it saves you some time. And you guys, thank you for tuning in. If this was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Like I said, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials from me around techie things like this, around OBS, around live streaming, um, around all the graphics. I create all my own graphics. 
Um, and you guys, I don't even use Adobe. I use programs like PowerPoint and Keynote. I use the easiest programs ever. So you can do so much with such simple tools. Um, ask me any questions below. And you guys check the description for other content or other um, resources. I'll put the I Show You audio capture link there. I'll put the links to my Facebook group. Um, come back soon. And remember, make sure you're subscribed. If you're subscribed, then you're going to get the email notifications for when I post new videos. So I think that's it, you guys. Um, have an amazing day, and we'll see you for the next video. I hope that's helpful. All right, take care, guys. Bye.